one you just gave me, what we just tasted, is which one? That one. Okay. Yellow Sir Hollow's Hunt. What's in the big letter go? Tanya's honey. Okay. Uh. You mean Iowa? Yep. <laughs> I can't tell if he does it all on purpose or what, <laughs> but... I did just tell you Iowa. I know I'm that if I ever it. snap, I'll always feel justified. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, and welcome to Made in the U.S. Chips, and I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> this is the heathen chips. He's doing all right. I spent an hour in an IT argument with myself about whether or not a cable should make the fucking difference between being able to record or not. Here we are. So what this is telling you to is be wary if you decide to make your own YouTube show. Yeah. There are more challenges than it seems. This week's Pitfalls. Comes from. So many fucking... I was, there's part of me that's thought about having an extra camera just to watch the entire existential breakdown of yep. this. It would probably be more beneficial than the actual project that I'm doing. Get into medical books. <laughs> <sighs> Hello and welcome to... Me in the USA. I'm the Heathen Chips, and this is my associate, Mr. Gray. We're making 50 10% traditional meads from 50 states, and this honey, this meads honey will be from Mississippi. We have Allison Hall's Honey Company. Pretty liquidy, <laughs> but it comes off rather thick on huh? thick. Hmm. Huh? This one's got a bit of a, a bit of like a bitter bite in the middle of it. It comes off a little like woody, like not, I don't know if like oh, uh, oak is right flavor, but like a woodsy in the beginning. But it gets, there is something there in the beginning. I think it's middle. just generally black forest is the flavor. I guess I'd come up with. I, I can I can agree with that. And then yeah, it mellows out to a nice sweetness in the background though. Yeah, it kind of so it hits up with the uh, with with a black forest kind of flavor in the beginning. Kind of hits me rather sharply in the middle with a bit of a bitter bitter flavor, and then it kind of smooths out into a nice honey finish. Yeah, I can agree with that. A little bit of floral flavor in the background to it, but that uh, that that more bitter uh, bitter flavor is by far the the most noticeable bit, but. It didn't hit me as hard as it hit you, but... Well, teach their own. Let's give it a go! In Mississippi? Quite. Yeah. It does actually. I didn't even actually see that. Oh yeah, VC definitely clean. Yeah. I didn't even see that shit. Yeah. I just called it out. I just know you that fucking well. I did that at the very beginning, you know. Mm-hmm. I didn't notice it until honestly today when I was grabbing the jugs. I believe that. Well, Chips just noticed it. <laughs> 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 I'm at least. <laughs> I'm fucking busy here. I'm at least three or four hours for chips. I've got a lot of shit on my mind about figuring out how much shit's fucking not working right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're back with the Mississippi Queen. Got the darker colors. Oh, you're fucking boring. You could have, you know, if you know what I mean. You know, no, 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 I'm fucking boring. It's got a dark color. <laughs> <in there now. laughs> Hmm. Cough syrup. 
like almost great cough syrup. Yeah, you can get the alcohol flavor, and I'm not picking up more of it. It's like almost a numbing sensation flavor. Where there's like, it's actively trying to hide its flavor. It's like you can like, you feel like you're digging in there, and there's flavor there, but it won't let you taste it. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's like there is a flavor there, but it's just kind of like more alcohol. Yeah. Now you can get a little closer. No, no alcohol. <laughs> Keep it's, them goggles on. It's swamp mead. All the flavors at the bottom. I was going to say this does remind me of quite a bit of the uh, the Florida mead. <laughs> Maybe it's a southern trend kind of deal with the amount of humidity that they have in the general fauna, uh, uh, fauna, or not fauna, floral. Well, Mississippi, I'm, uh, I'm going to decline. Uh, it's not one for me either. Mm. The Mississippi queen is a fat bottom girl. All players <laughs> in the bush. I'm sure I'm, if you let it mellow out. That's what I'm wondering, is if after, if you let this one mellow for like a year, will the flavor come forth and hide past the alcohol? You know what's weird about it, though, is that it's smooth still. Like, it doesn't it burn. It's not that the alcohol taste isn't even unpleasant. I, I agree with that as well. I mean, if you drink enough of it, maybe. All right, well, thank you for watching. Till next time.